thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm really excited about this event. We've been planning it for a long time, and it's really great to see it uh, finally begin to come together. Uh, just by way of sort of a housekeeping introductory note, I know we're wrapping up breakfast. The official position of the administration here is I that... I saw nothing. Right, she's not going to say anything, but the official position of school administration is no food in this room. So you don't have to leave, but you know, wrap it up and you know, don't bring like your hamburger into lunch or whatever. All right, so it's um, next week, frighteningly, is uh, the beginning of April, um, which means that there's about a month and a half left uh, in the semester, um, which means that uh, me and my fellow members of the class of 2013 are getting ready to graduate. Uh, and along with that, at the same time, uh, we're beginning to look for jobs. Um, and th this is happening here. This is happening across the country. There are hundreds of thousands of graduating law students, and a lot of them are having a hard time. Um, it's, it's no secret that uh, legal education and that our field uh, is in a crisis. Um, and a lot of people see all of these law students graduating into unemployment and diagnose it as a crisis that is an oversupply of lawyers. Um, and as I think some of our speakers are going to really highlight today, um, that misses another crisis that's going on at the same time. Um, because at the same time that we have all of these unemployed uh, lawyers, young law school graduates, we have hundreds of thousands of people who want and need legal assistance uh, in places where they don't have a right to it, uh, and they can't afford it, and they can't get it. Um, and Dean Broderick cataloged some of the types of cases that we're talking about, cases where people may be facing the termination of their parental rights and they're going to have their children taken away, uh, they're going to be foreclosed on or evicted and have their housing taken away, uh, they're going to lose government benefits that they're really uh, depending on. Um, and we've got sort of a patchwork system around the country of right to counsel and access to counsel um, that's a good start, but it's nowhere near a uniform system for administering justice. Um, so I think that uh, we recognize that we have these two crises, but we also recognize that a crisis is an opportunity. And in this case, our opportunity uh, is to rebuild the way that we connect our supply of lawyers to the legal needs of our communities. Um, and one step to doing that uh, is by beefing up the right to counsel and creating mechanisms to enhance access to counsel.